Today I'm going to talk to you about the value of teaching your dog how to retrieve. Now this is something that I do every single day with my dogs in order to keep them in shape and to exercise them. But did you know this is also a fabulous game to use to help establish leadership and to build a great relationship with your dog? Today I'm going to go over a few key factors on teaching your dogs how to do a retrieve. You ready to be? You want to show them? On your mark. Okay, ready? Get set. Go. Get the ball. Good girl. Bring it here. Bring! Woo! Good girlie! This is seven-month-old Beeline, and my name is Cal McCann. Welcome back to McCann Dogs. Get that thing. Before you begin, you may consider putting your dog on a leash. And I've, what I've also done is put my toy on a leash so that I have control of both variables. Now, before doing this, I've already established that my puppy really likes this toy. So make sure you have an idea of what your types of toy your puppies like, um, whether it's a tug toy or a rubber size uh, type toy like this. Um, you know, sometimes dogs don't like to retrieve because they aren't motivated by the type of uh, toy or reward that you're using. So experiment, make sure you find something that your dog likes. Now, one of the main reasons why I've put my toy on a leash is so that I can make this look like dying prey. That's a lot of fun for the dog. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get Beeline engaged with the toy right now just by moving and whipping this toy around and letting her chase it. Ready, Bee? What's this? Ready? Ooh. So puppies like when things move. So I'm going to get it ready. What's this? Shh. What's this? Get it, 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 get it. Ooh, she caught it already. So I'm just going to move it away from her. And if she happens to let go of the toy, I'm going to start whipping it around again. Ooh, there it goes. Ooh. Whoop, whoop. Oh, she's pretty quick. Good girl. And this is the first part of the retrieve. I wouldn't actually throw the toy. I would just engage her in a game of tug by keeping the toy very active and exciting. Good girl. Get that. Now that I've established that B really likes this toy, the next thing that I want to do is start teaching the retrieve portion of it. Now what I've done is I've actually taken two leashes and I've attached them to this toy so I have a really long line to use to control the toy. Now I know she really likes this toy so I'm going to throw it out but to prevent her from running around my yard with it, I have the line attached so that when she picks it up I can use it to reel her in back and towards me teaching her to go get the toy and bring it directly back to me. And I would just repeat this process a few times until I don't have to assist her with any longer and she's doing it a bit more independently. Okay, B, you ready? Want to get this toy? Ready, ready, ready? So what I'm going to do is hold on to her, make sure I have the end of my line ready. Ready, set. Oh, she's ready. Come here, come here, come here. Set. Get the toy, get the toy. Good girl. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Bring it here, bring it here, bring it here. Yay! Good girl! Now when she gets back, I don't want to take the toy from her right away. I want her to be rewarded and have fun for bringing the toy to me. So I'm going to take a second to play a little game of tug. Oh, that was a good puppy. Okay, let's try it again. Are you ready? So I'm going to get the end of my line. Ready, set, get the toy. Good girl, bring it here, bring it here. Yay! Good girl! Very nice! Good. And I would just repeat this process until the two of us got tired. Good girl. Now I've just done a bunch of repetitions with me holding the leash and she's been really good about bringing the toy directly back. So I'm going to progress now by throwing the toy a little bit further away and I'm going to start dropping the leash. Now if at any time I feel like she is not bringing the toy directly back to me, I'm not going to chase after the dog and the toy. That could be the probably the worst thing you could do. When you chase a dog, what they typically do is keep running and just turn it into a big catch me if you can game. So instead I'm going to try and get to my line so I can go back to directing her with the leash in my direction. Hopefully I won't have to do that though. You ready, Miss B? Ready, set, get it. Good girl. Bring it here. Bring it here. Yay! What a good girl. Always lots of play and praise when your puppy brings the toy back. Can you try it again? Ready? Get set. Get the toy. Good girl. Bring it here. Woo! Good girl! I think it's safe to say she likes this game. Good girl! Yes! Very nice. Now once you're able to do that with the leash on the ground, obviously the next step would be able to progress to not having the toy attached to anything, but it doesn't gonna, it's not going to hurt anything by having the leash attached a little bit longer just to be on the safe side, especially if you're in a, a busy location where there tends to be lots of distractions. Good girl! Yes. Once you've had a lot of reliability playing with the toy with your dog while the toy is attached to a line, you may consider taking the line off of the toy, but to ensure that you have control, you could always attach this long line to your dog. That way, 
if they decide to make any poor choices or they get a little distracted, you have a way to keep them safe and under control. Now, the last component that I think is really important to talk about is how you move your body. In order to get her to bring the toy back to me quickly, I always wanna move away from her to try and encourage that chase drive. So this last retrieve I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna throw the toy out. Once she gets the toy, I'm gonna call her and I'm gonna run away and that's gonna ignite her chase drive. She's gonna wanna come back to me quickly and then we can have that fun game together at the end. Okay, B, ready? On your mark. Make sure you don't step on the line so they don't <laughs> make it go tight when they run away. Ready, ready, ready? Okay. Ready, set. We're going this way. Get the ball, get the ball, get the ball. B! <laughs> your dog might not add that uh, exuberant jump at the end of the recall. My dog's a little bit over the top. But whatever they want to do to make the game fun. Yes, good girl. You want to do one more? Are you ready? Set, get this way. Whoops. Here, bring it here. Yeah! Bring it here, bring it here, bring it here. Yay! This way, yeah! So always moving away from the dog, encouraging them to bring the toy back to you. Now, if either one of you is not out of breath at the end of this, you're not doing it right. Now retrieving is obviously a really fun thing to do with your dog and it's something that we encourage you to play a lot with them. But it's really important that when you're playing retrieve that you don't compromise your control by letting your dog be in a situation where they can take the toy and run off with it. So it's a really smart idea to keep your dog or puppy on the line or your toy or uh, whatever you're retrieving with on the line as well to ensure that you always have control. Now people are often um, asking us for suggestions, for ideas, for things for their puppies to, to retrieve. So if you've had any great successes with uh, certain toys, at home with your dogs, especially if they were once a little bit unmotivated by a toy and you found something that really worked, it would be awesome if you could post some suggestions in the comments below. I think other uh, watchers would really appreciate some of the uh, suggestions that you might have. Now, if you like today's video, make sure you give us a thumbs up. Uh, feel free to subscribe as we post brand new videos every Thursdays about all kinds of fun things to do with dogs, whether it's training or uh, just dog information in general. Uh, my name is Cal McCann. This is my puppy Beeline. Uh, thanks for watching watching and happy training.